Hi, I'm Corn C, and today I am playing Tropico 5. In fact, I'll be playing it for many days because I'm going to play all the way through the campaign, only one campaign. And, uh, well, yeah, we'll take that. This is the one I did earlier. We'll just listen to the story, backstory. You know those people who established dynasties so powerful that their names echo through the centuries? I'm one of them. New world, new opportunities, no limits. This island of mine could become anything. It could be a farmer's heaven, the fields reaching the horizon, and the markets full of people. Or it could be a production powerhouse, with chimneys reaching the sky, and docks busy with all sorts of exotic goods. Or it could be the paradise on Earth. A magnet for travelers from all over the world. A place for fiesta and fun. Sir, we're docking the ship, sir. For now, it's just a dirt poor piece of land in the middle of the ocean. Let's make it shine. Okay, so I'm going to take all defaults. I've skipped the bit where I uh, customize the look of my character because you don't normally see them much, and I already had one created from earlier. Uh, if I have any descendants or heirs, I'll, I'll go through the process then. And so we'll take the default settings and we'll take the, the first island. And there's these nice little talks about uh, little snippets of dictator's history. Ah, the Caribbean. A lush and untamed land, my new home. Beautiful and full of promise. A new beginning, far from the politics of the old world. A chance to start fresh and do things my way. I'm tired of the musty weather and rigid thinking back home. I need a change. I was appointed governor of this island. Not that anyone else wanted the job anyway. My unique approach to government will make this colony the most prosperous in the Caribbean. <laughs> How hard can it be? You just need some planks, a few nails, and a trusty advisor to shout at. Welcome to the Caribbean, Governor. Allow me to introduce myself, Lord Oaksworth, His Majesty's emissary to the region. Okay, so in Tropico 5, you're the dictator, or in this case, the, the governor, of a tropical island, where it seems to be tropical. Uh, you're the dictator, and you're basically a city builder. So you, uh, you build things up, uh, you build up your colony or your, your city, and you deal with the various things to reach various goals. In this mission, the first mission of the campaign, you're the governor of a colonial power, and you have a certain mandate, and it'll come up in a second down here, that the aim is to reach the point where you can declare independence. So you're in, you've got colonial era technology, colonial era stuff, and uh, you've got to reach a point where you can say goodbye to Lord Oakshot, Oaksworth. Goodbye, we don't need you anymore. And uh, this is my this is my little. Uh, we'll just pause it for a second. This is my little uh, town. Not much here. This is my palace. This is uh, where you can click on it. It tells you teams to office. So they carry stuff around. Dock, construction office, uh, some houses, and a plan, uh, a corn plantation. And you can see here, she's zooming quite far. It's actually quite. A, it's a very pretty game. Zooming a long way. These are little shanty towns as well. And these little uh, exclamation marks are missions. And because this is the introductory one, there's going to be lots of introductory text about how to play the game. So Greetings, I'm... old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As Crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. Okay, I'm going to buy the, the silver package. But anyway, what I was saying before. Uh, I've actually completely forgotten, yes. Oh, because it's introductory, there'll be lots of these little things telling you what to do at various points. 
Uh, so I'm not going to do too much uh, in advance of what needs to be done. I'm mainly just going to, to react to what the game tells me to do. But I've got four years and I'm going to buy the silver package. Because I've, I should point out this stage, buy the silver package. I've played this mission through once before and achieved independence. Uh, but the recording didn't go so well. And I'll explain that His Majesty this. needs money to build a new underwater palace. He wants you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those crops that make heaps of cash. Okay, so build a plantation, get an extra six months. Because four years is not very long to declare independence. So I'm going to have to uh, extend my mandate, probably at least double that, uh, and to, to, to reach a point where I can declare independence. So. Yes, we'll accept that, and we'll build a, a sugar plantation. Yes, as I was saying, I've actually, this is actually the, uh, we'll pause it for a second, this is actually the second time that I've been through this. Uh, the problem with the first one was that the music is all copyright controlled. Uh, well done, guys. So you can't actually uh, put it onto YouTube. So I'm having to play it again with all the music turned off. Okay, so... Let's build that plantation. They wanted it was sugar, wasn't it? I hope. Actually, let's just check. Yes, sugar plantation. So right click, choose plantation from the build menu, choose sugar, and it shows you the best places to put it. And I'm going to have to spin it around so it connect up. And I actually, it may be better if I just move it over one. There, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll stick it there. It's the, as you can see, the, the uh, overlay says it's more green here, which means it's going to be better positioned there. And that means we'll need to build the road out. So go back to the build menu, go to infrastructure, road, and we'll just hook up that road. Oh, oh I've got it slightly out of line. It's dumb. Okay. And there we go. So now it'll go away and build this uh, sugar plantation. You can see it will take a bit of time being built up. And my wonky road, because I can't build roads. I can't put things in the correct spot. And here are the little people going off to build the, uh, build the plantation. So that'll take a bit of time. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's other things you can do. There's uh, the almanac, which tells you about, the, about your uh, colony. And happiness will be a big bit. There's politics. So the happiness, I'm not very well... People aren't very happy with me at the moment. Revolutionaries like me more than the royalists, so generally I need to make sure they're more revolutionary. And money, I'm losing money. But I've still got a bit of money from starting up. And then there's research, so you can research technologies. I can't research at the moment because I haven't got any points. I'm going to wait for the little mission to tell me to build a, uh, a library so I can start researching. Uh, and that's the other thing. I can only go up to about here, I've discovered. Beyond here, it says Unlocked in World Wars. So this is a colonial era mission, and the next one up that would be a World Wars mission. So until then, I can't unlock here. And then the same with building. I mean, you can see there's lots of things here, Unlocked in World Wars, Unlocked in World Wars. So there's not actually much I can, uh, not actually much I can do in terms of building it. You're quite, uh, quite restricted at this stage. Let's speed things up a bit. 14% popularity, not very good. 71 people. We'll just speed things along a bit. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. So this is basically a reward for building that sugar plantation, and I'm going to extend my mandate. Technological okay, progress is the path to autonomy, Governor. We need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new <gasps> stuff. Okay, so here's the build a library task. So, time to build that library. Uh, la 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 la. Here we go. Research and education. Library. That's pretty much the only thing I can build here. So, uh, how badly have I screwed things up with positioning? I should be able to do that. Yeah, we'll build it there, next to my palace. That should... 
worked for me. So now I can go to oops, that, go to research. Oh, it hasn't been built yet, so I've got to wait for it to actually be built. Let it uh, let the people go along. These are my members of my dynasty, so there's one of them running along there. I think this other one up the back. Oops. Yeah, that's that's supposed to be me there. Can't really see very well, so I'm not sure if there's much effort to be put into uh, customizing them. And here's a uh, ship. These are very important. This is the way you make money, essentially. Uh, the ships come in and you export stuff. So I'm going to be exporting corn and uh, sugar, if there's any sugar. Uh, ready? Not sure. And a little message will pop up. It also... Pepsi, so I made two grand. And also later on, as you have jobs available, or, or people come, then they'll, they'll come in too. We are the shadows that move the world. We rule in secret. We are the salvation of mankind. We are the order, and you will be one of us. Yep, so here's the mission. Here's the uh, objective to win the mission. Declare independence because my popular support is above 50%. As the order tells me, this guy sounds evil. I, I don't trust this guy. He pops up a lot in the first mission. And um, knowing, knowing Tropico, the, the, the humor is quite, uh, is quite broad. To, to put it, you'll see, especially uh, coming up with various things. Uh, so if someone sounds evil, I'm pretty sure they're going to be evil. I played the Tropico before this. I played Tropico 4. Oh, here we go. Built so I can start researching. Uh... Oh, no, let's... Thanks first. Let's get use... There we go. That's That's basically everything I can. I just chained up everything I can research. Yes, the humor is quite broad. So, oh, why am I? I seem to have wandered off into the forest. Brown sends me money. That's good. Oh, and uh, another mission. Not his Majesty mission. has commissioned the finest architects to design his new underwater home. We need your cash crops to pay for them. Yep, definitely. I'll take another six months for three and a half thousand sugar. And then there's another one here. Being one. able to stand on your own is a virtue I personally cherish. Self-sufficiency should be every country's goal. Okay, uh, have 15,000 in the bank. At the moment I've got just under 6,000. And 12 educated revolutionaries will migrate to Ireland. This is very useful. Because remember, the revolutionaries support me more than the royalists. So that'll boost my, my popularity. And another ship. See, I've got some more people. And Governor, another mission. I have made contact with a certain group of not so reputable sailors who would gladly pay extra for our goods. Yes, I will initiate a trade route because at least in this mission, some of the trade routes are quite good and I want the revolutionaries to support. So down here is trade. And I can look at the trade routes and I want to export. Don't really think I need to import corn, I've got a corn. Export meat, export sugar, pretty good. Export export logs. Export logs. Yeah, that's quite good. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna okay, double unlock later, I imagine. So exporting meat, exporting sugar, that could be or tobacco. Make a tobacco farm. 33,000. Make about 400 on each one. That's uh, that's a pretty good deal, actually. I think that's it. And, and it boosts my foreign standing. I'll have to build a tobacco plantation. But uh, let's just see what tobacco plantation is looking like. Uh, tobacco. Great. Oh, there's a good spot up here. I could put one over here. That could uh, that could work well. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's build a tobacco plantation in here, which is nicely green, and we'll take that 
take that uh, that trade deal. We should establish that trade route. That should work for me quite nicely. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Well, I don't need more money, and I'm not going to do much. I only have, I've used up all my ships, so there's no point for new trade routes. And I don't need the money right now um, because I, sh I just I'm going to make a load of money from that trade route. So I'm going to take the revolutionaries instead. And uh, just quickly before we do that, I'm going to build that road out so it's connected. There we go. Okay. And then let's see what the next uh, next mission is. The burden of ruling twists our perception of humanity. To us, people are just a resource that has to be managed properly. This guy sounds so evil. He must, he must be a bad guy. Accept and build country houses. I can build country houses. Let's take a look. Houses, houses, houses. Resident. Country house. Five of them. Where shall I build? Which way around is it? Which is the front? I think that's the front. You have the yard at the front, or do you have the yard at the back? Doesn't matter. Oh well, we'll find out. We can build them along here. I bought. Oh, I made six. Oh well, six or two. I. Understand you are still struggling with trivial things like money. I will aid you this time, but remember, I offer my help only once. Yeah, I'll take your money. Accept the money, definitely accept the money. Okay, so I'm going to just keep playing. The plan is to play all the way to the entire campaign. Um, and this has been the first, being the first uh, scenario in, the, in that campaign. And I plan on making the videos between 15 and 30 minutes. So as you can see, this is the, this is the first one coming up to about 15 minutes. I see the houses are ready. Unfortunately, the islands of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo have kidnapped the managers intended for you. Oh, that's no good, but I do get 12 months, which I actually need. To. I'm getting down back down to about four years. 85 people, 21%. I think things are going, things are generally are going okay at the moment. I'm quite happy with the way it's going. I can probably build some more. I say, being a crown colony is a kind of competition. One you are losing, old chap. The colonies of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo are beating you badly. Okay, I'll take, uh, I'll pay, I want the extra 12 months, so I'll pay the tax this time. Okay, so yeah, we're coming up to 16 minutes. That's probably a good place to stop for the first one. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, three citizens. His Royal Majesty ah. has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. So this is, I, I, I exported all that sugar. And I'll take the additional mandate, and that might be enough for me to. Uh, to, to finish, finish with uh, eight, seven and a half years might be enough for me to get all the way to the end. And there's another mission, so I'm going to pause it now. But I think we've reached a, uh, a reasonable stopping point, and I'll come back in a little bit to show you the continuing, the continuing adventures of of my dictator of this little island. Bye.